Hello there Minecraft addicts uh, Now what we have here is a small contraption I, uh, a small contraption, yeah right <laughs> something I, um, I always wanted to make and also uh, I, actually I, I made this uh, a few times in my uh, single player maps but um, I wanted to share, with wi share it with you so um, okay press it again nothing happens alright going backwards and voila now if I want to get out of the house of course I press a button now you should uh, see these pressure plates here let me go in reverse and it closes behind me okay so let's go again whoa closing okay and again closing so um, yeah let's uh, let's see how I build this now this button here big cable okay with uh, this is very important actually it's not that important but it, it transmits the signal um, farther okay here we have again a memory cell as you can see yes okay changes states and again changes states okay now the basic principle for these doors you can find this all over the, uh, the internet uh, let me just build it for you so you can see better so you have on one side four pistons okay two pistons like that and two pieces of whatever block you want it to usually in order to make us a, um, a surface I don't know you, to make it embed into some into another surface you put something here on uh, this side also so that will make um, a block here all right and uh, these four blocks get pushed by come on by those four uh, pistons okay and uh, these two blocks push the uh, the stone blocks in alignment with these other two uh, blocks now let me just sh show you like that how do you power these four uh, pistons in the past I used to do it like this okay but uh, that actually consumes a lot of space okay and you power them with something or I don't know um, a button or a yeah let me just put a torch there so you can see better so this to push like that as I said you would have come on two blocks here right and now you just need to power these two uh, pistons to get them in alignment with the other blocks now in order to power these uh, pistons you basically have to power one of them from below come on okay with a rest on torch like that so one of them is powered and in order to power come on in order to power the other one from above you have to do something like this okay and uh, let me just see if that works 
for the purpose of demonstrating yeah there you go so you need to power that block on top of that piston which you can do with a uh, simple redstone dust now uh, from what I have seen let's see if it works this doesn't work with a repeater okay not there uh, and not here I hate I really hate the flying in a creative mode because as you can see look there's a little bit of lag it doesn't suddenly stop it just rolls a little bit <laughs> I hate that so much so much but I need the flying yeah anyway so you can't do it with a repeater but with uh, some redstone dust you can do it with no problem okay so that is the basic basic uh, setup for this door over here okay you just uh, copy that uh, setup on both sides now um, as I said this is what I usually uh, usually did with the two repeaters but I found out you can actually improve on that concept by, by doing it like this so you put uh, two diagonal blocks okay you put one redstone torch over there and one piece of redstone over there and there you have it all four pistons are um, are extended so you only need to put something to to control that uh, redstone torch which uh, is a repeater okay so there you go all four pistons are off and all four pistons are on okay so that's what I did over here as you can see the rest on torch the diagonal blocks some rest on power uh, powder there and yeah the, the same thing on the other side again diagonal rest on torch rest on uh, what do you call it rest simply redstone <laughs> yeah that's uh, the repeater uh, that controls that uh, rest on torch and uh, the same on the other side now in order to control the the other two pistons okay i have did the uh, rest on torches over here that control the uh, the bottom pistons and for the um, top pistons i have this simple inverter here with a little bit of rest on okay so that controls the the upper pistons now this is the power line that uh, goes all the way on the top when you from that uh, uh, circuit right there okay so okay what's next the power comes from over there and if I don't use this um, let me just do it like that if I don't use that memory cell over there let's see what happens let's do that again okay so as long as the button is pressed they retract as usual but when the pow uh, power from the button stops they go to normal okay so I uh, I don't need that I need them to stay open okay so that is why I use that uh, memory cell over here they need to stay open so basically instead of doing the, uh, the connection right there the connection goes through a memory cell and that allows them to to activate the circuit and uh, the circuit remains uh, on now the memory cell is uh, of course connected to this other button on this part okay which is basically uh, the same uh, entry point okay you, uh, you I could do it like this 
and it's the same point practically it's the same button but on opposite sides of the door okay now as you could notice the pressure plates reset the circuit okay and let's see how that is done the pressure plates activate this rest on which goes through these uh, four repeaters and resets the memory cell okay let's uh, let's do this one more time resetting the memory cell over here and instead of uh, activating the pressure plates I'm gonna put a rest on over here and you'll see uh, some delay okay so that's a big delay why do I need that delay let me show you if I just don't put the delay okay let's just set the, this to normal without the delay okay something uh, I forgot to do something what did I forgot to do did that retract and I didn't see it come on what I, why did I forget Maybe it's a glitch or something. Yeah, let's reset that. Darn it. Okay, let's do this again. What the hell? I can't see where I, where I got it wrong. Do I need more delay on that? Uh, well, you see what happens um, off camera. This is <laughs> one of my off camera moments. <laughs> As, um, uh, yeah. This is troubleshooting, as you can see. So it seems. I just moved that from over there, but that shouldn't actually do anything. So why did it happen? That's strange. So I need more delay there. How do I put that delay? I need another repeater over here. Darn it. Is it because I uh, reset that uh, those repeaters? Let's see. So that's out as normal. Let's see if this part works. Okay, so this part works fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. lag, a lot of lag. Okay, let's do this again. Yeah, that's the rest on for you guys. <laughs> this uh, this shouldn't have happened but that that would be basically the same connection but apparently it's not in a rest on world <laughs> um, yeah anyway so I wanted to show you uh, those repeaters if I set them on um, on no uh, ticks at all let's see if I can get through yeah so I'm stuck they caught me in um, in in the pistons. Okay, so that's why I need that delay over there in order to get out in time. Okay, let's do this again. Now they close very fast, so I put some delay. which allows me to get out in time and also safe, safely there you go yeah 
so that's the basic setup so what you need to to remember is uh, the setup over here for the pistons okay two blocks in diagonal one redstone torch one redstone just to to clear some space okay in order to power the block the uh, piston below you need the uh, redstone torch over there in order to power the one above you need the uh, uh, redstone torch over on that block okay and uh, the other things are just to, to control um, the, um, the activation of the gate so that's about it now on um, just one uh, one small thing before I finish this video I um, I got a comment and also later I got a message let me just check uh, his name uh, what's your name dude what's your name oh I, I don't know maybe it's his French Vapor 80 okay I'm uh, he uh, noticed my video on uh, Industrial Craft 2 where I uh, talked about the rubber um, how do you call them rubber sheets and uh, at that time I didn't know what they do okay but apparently uh, they act like a small trampoline if you let's go just a little bit higher if you want to build a safe uh, place from uh, I don't know from jumping or just for fun you can put it like this and uh, the special the secret with uh, these uh, rubber sheets is that you need to have one block empty uh, below them but also they can't be set like this let me just uh, show you okay come on okay if you put them like this they disappear when you step on them there you go they just uh, pop off so you really really need to put blocks like that in order for this to work oh, come on another one over there let's see if now it works there you go so you basically need to build a hole <laughs> in order for those to work Yeah, I don't know the, the what the the reason for this should be. Maybe it's just for fun, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. Yeah, so uh, that's it for now. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to be awesome, guys. Ciao.